Ladies and gentlemen, this is Hot Sofine 4. 1941 start date. Can Russia survive? NSIG. I guess that's a mod. I did already one NSIG video from this channel. Uh, so, yeah, the obvious this is I sort of proxon ISP. Uh, this channel basically covers all the different Hearts of Iron 4 scenarios. Uh, there are other channels like multiplayer channel Boken 1, which I still didn't react to. I, I have to react to earlier Boken 1 video a day or two earlier. Then I have to put it to review because apparently all the Boken 1 video cuts flagged or something. So, yeah. I'm going to do the Boken 1 too and also uh, Tommy K, yeah, Tommy K videos about the NSIG and other. But yeah, like always, we are watching Isor Proxon this time. Remember, if you like my reaction, do forget to subscribe. So, I know which type of videos to react to more. Check out the reaction under this link in the description. There you find the playlist uh, for Hearts of Iron 4 or, you know, Paradox Games reactions like Victoria 2, Hearts of Iron 4, things like that. Yeah, let's watch it. Hey, what's going on, guys? It's me, Demonetize, 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 Demonetize Productions. And before we get into that, I'm going to quickly just shout out that Ironside Computers is doing another computer giveaway with the following stats. It will be linked down below with the video and the Gleam giveaway, so make sure you click on both of those. And there should also be a card that will pop up sometime around now, which will link you straight to the giveaway. Uh, Feel free to check that out and enter, get yourself free PC maybe. Uh, so you know when I said I'd do uh, artillery only if I get 300k before a Somnia? Well, I wasn't quite expecting that response. I don't get why you guys want to see it so much. It's like you guys want to see me suffer and be in pain. <laughs> why? None of you guys would surely want that. Oh. But yeah, Insomnia is in like 10 days now. I don't know if you guys will manage to do it, but I guess technically if everyone that watches this video that isn't subscribed, which is about like 20 to 40% usually on a video, all subscribes and hits the sub button, I will be there literally today. Um, so that's kind of up to you guys who probably don't have a YouTuber account or haven't hit the sub button. Hit the sub button, you can see me be in pain for about 10 minutes and one second. So we are back in the NSEEG mod, not the NSEEG failed mod, but the actual NSEEG mod, which has a new scenario, which is 1941, where Operation Barbarossa has basically just started going. The Germans have managed to push the Soviets back quite a bit, and we are, we're going to be struggling because I will be playing the Soviet. You see, with great adversary, great struggle, and being the Soviet Union with great, great losses, um, we're going to need some big guns here to beat these Germans back. And thankfully, I've got the biggest gun of all, this mustache. <laughs> what are you gonna do, Germany? Bomb my mustache. <laughs> oh, I sorrow. This will be pretty easy. You've got 2,000 political power. Have you ever wondered about hey, your man. IQ score? Well, Russia really isn't in a great position, but thankfully we do have industrialized society, so we're technically not shitting in buckets, actually. Yeah, we probably are shitting in buckets, aren't we? First thing first, though, we're gonna need specialist training. We need as much infantry organization as we can get. Also, quick spoilers, guys. It's probably best to build your industry behind the Urals, because I, I may or may not have looked up what happened. Spoilers, and, uh... Russia kind of needs to do that. For now, I'm just going to delete my Air Force <laughs> until we get rid of our negative bonus against it, because currently we're going to get absolutely destroyed in any air warfare. Now, I yeah. might stick them to interception instead in a few provinces just to get rid of their cast bonuses, but I won't be getting air supremacy, unfortunately. We'll just have to deal with it for now. Just got the cheat menu up that starts every NC game, I'm assuming, and I'm not going to mess with any of the options. I'm just going to leave it to whatever the base is set up, because I'm assuming it's probably going to be more difficult as it is anyway. Yeah, fucked up things about World War II was that uh, yeah, Nazis, Hitler basically, uh, his technology was really great. I mean, obviously whenever I say that, yeah, pff, great, my ass and this and this and so people point out, but the basic thing here is, without going to too much technicalities, fighting against Soviet or any, you know, allies and basically anyone, uh, there is always some form of edge, right, to the Germans somewhere. Like, in the, obviously with the tanks, there was the edge. Right, you can argue that how Soviet had the sudden tanks more than this, and the basic. The point is just pound for pound technology. G Germans had a bit better technology, so obviously in this game it's really fun to see when you go against Germany. Right, sometimes you come across like oh there is no match between the you know air air basically attack. Let's just let's just not focus at that right now. Wait, Peru declared war on Ecuador. 
Wait, no, that actually happened in real life. I swear this event used to come up in like Koi Forest or did they take that out? Maybe I'm going crazy and thinking of Darkest Hour. You see, the Soviets like the color red so much, we painted our whole stockpile that color. I've set up all of my defensive lines now, but I think what I'm gonna do is actually try and push through Finland as soon as I can. Not much of a strategic reasoning behind it other than I just don't trust these Finnish people. Oh, hello, Finland. Oh, and we just got the great paint Patriotic War, which is, wait a sec, 45% organization, that, that's quite a bit, that's a, that's a lot of organization to get, I think that might need to be nerfed, and I also got the same one again, this time it gives me an extra 20% and 25%, oh my god, okay, uh, th that's incredibly overpowered, I think that's probably for the AI and not for me, are you even supposed to be playing Russia here, this is fucking insane! Well, we also lost our undermatched air force. Basically, they're sticking to Stalin, right? Like, you could have done, they could have been easy, but it, because of you, it wasn't easy. <laughs> Bonus, which means we can put our how easy it is to play out, Russia. Although, I'm pretty sure <laughs> so my organization I just got, I could stomp over the Germans right now. Well, rest in peace, Finland, but I won't lie, not gonna miss you. Well, that's it. That's all of my negative bonuses. They are gone as Russia and Germany hasn't even pushed me. Now I have only good things to do in my country and I could probably roll over them right now, but I, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna give them a chance here. Uh, what, uh, excuse me? If there was ever a time for one of these bugged event techs to come up, it's probably during the annexation of Tanatuva because honestly, was Tanatuva? Oh, well, the Germans just attacked. It's not going well. Uh, I can't tell if that was actually the Vichy regime that took over Free France in Africa or if it was actually the Italians doing all the work. But either way, you're still going to end up in prison. So I just finished off Norway, but I think I'm going to have to send this army down here now because uh, the Italians are getting pretty damn close. Yeah, I feel like next time around, I'm going to go ahead and try this as the Germans because I feel like it's going to be a harder game now. But you can get like an easy push at the start, but once the, the Soviets get all these buffs, oh my god, it's, it's just not going to happen. Yeah, I don't know if I enjoy this alternative history scenario where the Soviets are having to retake the Middle East from the Italians who managed to push the <laughs> Allies out. It's um, it's actually all right, you know. Now Battle of Alexandria. Uh, <laughs> interesting. I also only just got this AI buff thing. I, I don't know if this is supposed to fire now or at the start of the game, but I, I feel like this 1941 scenario needs a little bit more love. Oh, interestingly enough, the Chinese have capitulated the Japanese out of Asia. Nice one, Hirohi. Oh, you had one job. So I've gone ahead and started the push against the Germans now. There's no point waiting around. I might as well get a few encirclements while we can, because I don't think their AI is ever recovering. Oh, I forgot I had troops taking the sewers, and um, we we've ended up at the bottom of Africa here. So it's 1943 and I feel like whilst I could just end the Germans here and now, I'm going to go ahead and take a quick detour. Oh, Mussolini's going for a quick detour too. S straight to prison. Oh no! Not Boris! Oh damn, the Germans also got rid of Horfi from Hungary. Yeesh, that's not looking too good for the Axis, is it? So yeah, about that quick detour. Oh, breaking news everyone, with the Soviet offensive breaking through into Finland, the Finnish president has resigned, but um, bad news, I did that like two years ago now, Finland. Yeah, see you later, Japan. No teleporting behind me this time around. I have no idea why Abyssinia and Free France are in this piece still either. This is pretty confusing stuff. Well, with our slight detour out the way and D-Day happening, I think it's finally time we give the Germans a quick push and we'll see. Wait a minute, so in this game, sudden events happen uh, that even the game strategic wise doesn't make sense, but they just happen because what AI, AI mess, messes up, is that or something? Because I know there's so many scripts running, right? So many countries and what they're doing to track and basically complex you know, scripts that basically says who signs what treaty, uh, what pact made, get made. So obviously there's going to be errors sometime. See just how well we, oh my god, they are absolutely trash against us. Oh uh, yeah, Mr. Mod Developer, you might need to nerf the Soviet Union just a little bit. Ah, uh, and Romania just teleported behind Germany and declared war on them and became a communist puppet of me. Interesting, Romania.
Oh shit, and the Warsaw Uprising just happened. Uh, th th I'd say good luck to them because in reality it did not go well at all. But in this universe, I feel like it might be alright for this Polish militia I just spawned. Oh, oh, they removed Horfi from Palm. I swear they did that a while ago. Now they've got Giula Kinnir. Uh, and now Finland just became free and declared war on Germany and they also took a little bit of the land that I own and now Tanatuva's for I definitely feel like this mod needs its events fixed out because what the fuck is going on? Great news Mr. Stalin has capitulated! Who? You know has capitulated! Yeah, you know, Mr. Hiller, it went even worse for you than it did in real life. I don't, I don't fucking blame you for just literally all f 4 ing real life. Uh, and there's also a automated peace conference. Uh, I don't, I don't know how I feel about this. I, I feel like you should let me do my own peace conference. I mean, the Iron Curtain's there. It's just missing a few pieces, and it's, it's not as. They're not my puppets either. I I don't I don't know how. I'm gonna fix this. Oh wait, never mind. They all just left my faction. They what? the Iron Curtain was just like Stalin. No thanks. I'm all right. Not today. All right, I'm gonna make this ten times more. <laughs> Modus could have done that deliberately with the fucking no. <laughs> Iron Curtain. Fuck all that. Yeah, it was there. We don't need you. Everybody just quit. <laughs> humiliating for them. That Polish militia from the Warsaw Uprising coming straight back to you, Poland. So interestingly enough, the Soviet Union declared war on Poland. Yeah, but more importantly, uh, the Kingdom of Italy guaranteed them. The, the, the Kingdom of Italy. The... Oh, I'm so confused. I'm, I'm gonna have to invade all these countries just so I can get to Italy. That's <laughs> so annoying. Oh, well, FDR is dying. Apparently he will not get to see the end of the war. Um... Technically, the war already ended. This is just the next war, so you're, you're kind of right there, event. Oh. <laughs> Imagine that people suddenly, just, oh no, the world was not over. Stalin's not dead. Like, what the fuck? I thought Hitler was, was the enemy. No, 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 it's Stalin. <laughs> These fucking detours. You know what? Why not? Have another detour. Ah, did you look at that. I just killed a million Chinese people. Ooh. About that one, Britain. I don't think uh, that's gonna work out too well for you. Bonus war! Yeah, you see, Mr. Allies, I love you very much, but go kindly shove it up your ass! German Blitzkrieg, oh my friend, you've seen absolutely nothing. Oh yeah, you fucking too, Finland. I'm not forgetting about the fact you stole half my goddamn land up here. You know what? Why not? Bonus! Bonus! BONUS WAR! Oh, hey, America! Missing nine battleships, my chan? Yeah, you see, next time you want to go ahead and give yourself an automatic peace conference, maybe just don't! Oh, yeah, about that red wave. Yeah, during the World War II, basically, Russian lost, uh, Soviet Union war lost way too many men, right? Before the end, let's just say. So, this game or the mod, basically, should track, like, how many men lives in this area and how many of them are available to become a soldier right and how many of them left after basically dying in the field because lots of people died right i mean there's so many russian died that there was some kind of stat like you know uh there are way too many women compared to men because of how many soldiers died in world war ii so that was just fucked up all around so uh, obviously in this game all this uh, you know russia is still going on like they just have reserve room men just there to take over all these countries this is weird Literally a wave! My favorite thing about this mod is the fact the US only has 29 divisions, whereas the British Raj has, a uh, 99. Oh shit, dude, they've also got Indian Colonel Sanders over there, what the hell? Ah, got my peace conference in the end, all it took was a few more million men to be lost to the meat grinder, wasn't it all worth it? No. Yeah, if I was a mod developer, I'd go ahead and nerf this. I'm assuming this is meant for people who are actually playing Germany to make it tough against the Soviets, but um, I didn't really realize that, and uh, it's very overpowered. Um, anyway, I hope if you've made it this far through the video and you enjoyed it, you'll leave a like, hit the subscribe button. If you're wondering where my sins fall, <coughs> yep, there we go. Well, people, that was hard to find for 1941 start date. Uh, can Russia survive? So, yeah, obviously, this is uh, in the Eastern Front. Uh, that's when 1941, that's when this started, right? The Ribbentrop Pact got, uh, you know, broken and the war started. Obviously, in this war, Russia is way too overpowered somehow. And by the end of it, they still have enough you know, people left that they can take, start to take over more European countries and just blitzkrieg themselves, just quickly taking over places. But yeah. 
Alright, people. If you like my reaction, don't forget to subscribe. Check out the reaction. There's a link in the description. Uh, there's also a playlist in the description about the Paradox uh, games reaction. If you haven't seen them, click that. And yeah, I'll see you next time.